Hello, hello, and a wonderful uh, morning to you. I hope you're having a great start to a wonderful on passive day. Last Thursday, I was able to stop in on the Old Passion Sing Award group, and boy, I tell you, I'm glad that I really did. Um, the topic was about the value of teams, which made me think of all the teams that we've got in on passive that helps to teach and distribute information to the member base and beyond, right, to, to help keep us all connected in a way. These platforms are mainstays of support for all of us, especially in light of uh, developments over the last several months. I mean, we've had a, for the last year, so we've, we've had a hard go of it, but we're coming out and the sun is shining and the light is out there. So the value of these teams is seen in their ability, not only for providing updates, but educating us on uh, pertinent topics through platforms like this, like the uh, uh, Singapore, uh, the Opassion and other ones uh, through uh, video conferencing, webinars, right? The social media channels. And we have a lot of them, more than you might think. And these groups are an invaluable means for communicating. And I, for one, am grateful for those that host, uh, that host these platforms because they're following their passion and the rest of us benefit from their work in a variety of ways. So we value uh, them and, and we benefit through collaborative uh, knowledge sharing, right? These teams uh, share expertise and experiences that kind of meld into one comprehensive insight and allows us to stay updated on our company as well as industry trends and uh, best practices. Um, in a sense, they give us a, a larger uh, real-time overview of, of what's going on. They also give us a real-time discussion, right? Because teams and platforms like those, like this, enable real-time sharing of information and discussion. They do uh, uh, on-the-spot uh, Q&As. They do brainstorming and even have feedback sessions with teams that are literally across the globe. Um, they also promote and uh, give us a remote accessibility because these teams use the types of platform that allow connection, right? We know about this through OConnect and Zoom and all these other uh, platforms that we use that help us to connect uh, to people very easily around the world. And that helps us to see their different views and their different perspectives. Now, we've all heard that seeing is believing, right? Re webinars like the ones I'm talking about, um, they offer visual access to multimedia presentations to make otherwise kind of tough topics or you know, a little bit of you know kind of abstract topics more engaging, easier to understand, and they help us connect the dots in it, so to speak. And this is also something that saves us a ton of time because updates can be shared very effectively, efficiently, and reduce a lot of individual research time. Um, I, I'm grateful for this. And I'm grateful for another way, which is inconsistency, because these teams ensure um, unified messaging and alignment on key topics, adaptability, right? Video conferencing and webinars and stuff like that. They allow a, uh, a flexibility, if you will, in scheduling and in content, and they can be adjusted like on the fly in real time. And that allows a lot more of us to spend uh, time on them and to attend platforms as we are able. I mean, we can't all be on all the platforms, right? So you can bet within a given 24-hour period, there are several of these going on that we're able to get into. And this gives us, as a group, increased productivity. Teams bring pertinent topics or important updates to the forefront. That allows us to focus on them and focus on action items, perhaps, you know, driving the progress and driving the results. And they're also used for uh, customer education, support, and feedback. And all of these platforms work together for the unified good, in my opinion. Now, in doing that, they strengthen relationships. Meetings like these held virtually with regularity. They foster trust, uh, camaraderie, open communication within the teams. And it's, you know, as is certainly true with me, these meetings allow us to stay in touch with others, to, to build that bond, so to speak, and help us to keep a finger, uh, in a way, on the pulse of on passive and other things that uh, matter to us. Because there's a lot of other education going on, financial education, uh, educational uh, topics for kids. I mean, there's just tons of stuff going on. And some of these platform members um, 
use and get on passive information directly from Mr. Mufara through these live appearances. These appearances not only provide updates concerning the activity of our, uh, of our company, but they also provide uh, wisdom. Uh, Mr. Mufara does, right? Some pretty good counsel at times. And what I and probably others consider life hacks that we all absorb and need. I mean, you know, to hear him to come across on these with the information he provides is, is a great thing and it can help us in a lot of a lot of different ways. And in this way, we'll have that information that goes from that live webinar that he is on to other webinars. Now, right now, the primary method for this is through on passive 360, which is generally held on Wednesdays uh, or Thursdays. Another uh, channel that Ash attends frequently is uh, the Let's O channel with Manu and Ron on Friday nights. Now, pay attention to this because beginning this Friday night, right, uh, three days from now, the name of that webinar is actually changing from Let's O to Let's Celebrate. This change is to better reflect the platform's goal of providing a place for members to focus on positivity and uh, progress, uh, to embrace hope, and to express gratitude as a means of enriching our community through all of our positivity and those positive experiences and the things that we really enjoy. Now, some of the groups include International Webinar, O Passion uh, Singapore, uh, On Passive Heroes, One Global Movement, uh, Deep Dive, Julie Pierre's uh, Empowering Humanity, um, the Barat International Group, and there's also social media channels, uh, YouTube channels, right? Live shows, Facebooks, that sort of stuff, and webinars that provide content like uh, 360 does or Empowerment Network, a digital blueprint on passive updates with Nagma Tabasan, um, Prime Discussion with Gersminder, right? Dylan, previously, I think, known as Team Champions, awesome, responsible, I believe, for bringing in hundreds of thousands of folks. Uh, on Passive Dream Team, Sherry Dursaway Live, OP Legacy Unveiled, Heart to Heart with Julie uh, Nguyen, uh, Pat Parents uh, Miraculous Transformation, uh, Friendly Talks with Wasim, uh, Otech Pros, Rob Lynn Live, On Passive uh, Vishnu, who I believe covers updates and uh, educates through the Nepali language. And I'm sure you know that there's a lot more <laughs> Uh, and I apologize for any that I've missed. But as said previously, these groups get information that's been provided by Mr. Mufara. The information is then circulated to the various social media platforms that we've mentioned. And for those, uh, or from those rather, uh, it makes its way to our members, even to, uh, you know, as far out as the, uh, the public at large. The point is, by leveraging our groups, uh, groups hosted by on passive members, we can all stay better informed, better aligned, more productive, and that's going to help drive our growth and it's going to help to drive our success. I hope you enjoyed this. Please attend these. We're going to start doing some spotlights of these, these webinars and these platforms. I hope that you'll join us for those. Um, also, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you have an awesome, awesome, on Passive Day. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.